Hello everyone. I hope you are safe and doing great. In today's video, I am going to talk about why I prefer C++ over other coding languages in competitive coding rounds and coding interviews. And for those who came here for the first time, a big welcome to this video and my channel. And thanks to the YouTube's algo also. I am Vishya Saslade, a software developer by profession and a learner by heart. In this video, firstly, I'll talk about why C++ fascinates me so much. Then I'll talk about the STL libraries, which makes a lot of things easier for us. Also, we'll also compare other competitive programming languages with C++. And then I'll tell you the resources from where I mastered C++. So let's begin. Well, there are many reasons why I like C++. First of all, it's my first programming language, so I have a special attachment with it. But there are also many other things. It's very fast. It has good community support. It has great documentation, and it supports object-oriented programming. All these things contribute a lot towards the value of C++. Also, the thing about C++ is most of the developers know about C++. So. If you go to an interview and the interview says ki hey I don't know C++ can you switch to a different language well this is not going to happen because 99% of the developers know about C++ so it's a really great advantage that you can have another thing about C++ that I like a lot is if you want to implement a custom data structure for solving a particular problem you can do it very easily in C++ it doesn't take a lot of efforts to implement your own data structures also c++ has pointers so pointers is like a double edged sword it has advantages plus some disadvantages we can have a different video on that but the thing about is pointers is uh, working with pointers helps you solve uh, data structures like graphs trees and linked list very easily so if you have the proper logic about pointers and these data structures you can solve problems related to these topics very easily and without any sweat it's very fast also like c++ has one of the uh, fastest compile times uh, speeds ever so that's the biggest advantage that i feel when it comes to competitive coding and uh, a small advantage that makes a big difference is Writing code in C++ is very much easy. So it's the kind of language that you can write literally on pen and paper. The thing about interviews is you have to like you don't just all um, like most of the time you don't code in an IDE. You have to do it in, maybe in a pen and paper round or uh, write the code in a shared Google document. So at that time you don't have the help of the auto completion or the auto indentation all those things. At that at that time, the value of C++ really grows because the thing about C++ is its syntax is very easy to understand, very easy to remember, and easy to write also. So that gives you a great advantage. Coming to the next part is STL libraries. So STL libraries makes a lot of things easier for us, especially during the coding interviews. It has a lot of data structures, a lot of uh, sorting and other functionalities, which makes a lot of things easy for us so uh, most of the times what we do in coding interviews is solve a very big complex problem using small small data structures so maybe we can solve a problem using graphs maybe we use solve a problem using trees maybe solve a problem using stacks the thing is we are doing something else but these data structures are a sub part of a problem so we can't spend time implementing those and using them in our problem STL provides all those things ready for you. You can just call that function and do your thing. Focus on the main part. So that's why STL is very much important and it makes a lot of things easier for us. A big thanks to the person who invented STL. He has done a really great job. Uh, my personal favorites in the STL libraries are the sets, maps and the sorting functionality that it provides. As you know, maps are the like brahmastra when it comes to uh, coding problems. If you are stuck anywhere or stuck in a tricky situation, maps can be your way out because they just uh, like make things easier. So I have written a blog on this maps. You can check it out. I guess you will understand why I'm saying maps are the brahmastra of coding interviews. Coming to the next part, 
comparing with other programming languages so that's not possible actually like there are 700 plus coding languages and i can't learn practically all those languages and compare them head on with c++ that's very much not feasible to be honest so for the time being i'll compare c++ with python and java let's begin with python the thing about python is it's very good first of all like it's really damn good but problems with python is let's say i code something i use a particular functionality on my local ide but it's very it happens sometimes that if i go to an online ide that particular functionality won't be available for me so python has a lot of versions a lot of interpreters that's why the consistency of the functionality varies a lot so at that moment of time you will have to maybe find a different way to implement it or do something else or maybe even skip that question so this is a thing very loose points python is relatively slow so that's a thing that sometimes we might face an issue because of that another thing about python is the syntax sometimes is very much tricky it's uh, sometimes i'm not saying all time sometimes the syntax is very much tricky so it's difficult to understand or difficult to write uh, a, a colon here or there and you mess up the whole question so these are some issues with python coming to java so java is also a really good language like i currently code in java only in my uh, in my work so java is a really good language but when it comes to the coding rounds java has some issues firstly java is fully a object oriented programming language so you need to have some knowledge about those things and when you're going to object uh, like coding interviews you need to know, have knowledge about object oriented programming you can't just skip it another thing about java is uh, the syntax is very lengthy so java is a very verbose language and it has a very big syntax so it's a kind of lang a language that you code in a ide and not on pen and paper but what happens generally in coding interviews is you have to code using a pen and paper or a shared google document the syntax are very lengthy there are if the syntax is lengthy there are more chances that you will make a mistake and the more chances that you will end up uh, solving the question wrong and debugging in java is sometimes a tedious task so yeah that's why i prefer c++ over java and python and okay so these are all my personal opinions so don't be offended to all this message specifically to the core java and python guys i'm sorry but these are my personal opinions and i like, i like c++ over python and java so yeah sorry coming to resources so c as i told you c++ man was my first programming language most of the basic stuff i uh, learned it from a youtube channel called new boston or new bucky uh, bucky's boston something i'll mention the links in the description you can check it out there so most of the basic things such as what are the data types what are data structures syntax for loops while loops all those things i learned it from that channel so it was the like the foundation stone that i got in my knowledge and in the later stages uh, i learned most of the c++ to practice so i knew just the basic stuff how to take data in and how to send data out, but how to process it whenever i used to uh, like whenever i would practice a question i used to think ki maybe by using maps i can solve this question easier so i would just google the question and uh, google the maps google about maps in c++ and geeks for geeks and c++.com were some really great resources for, from where i would learn how to do that thing so these three are my prime resources if you want to study for a c++ new boston's youtube channel for studying the basics about the language geeks for geeks and c++ to understand the documentation implementation of various functionalities that c++ offers and the still library but see everyone has their preferences some people are comfortable with java some people are comfortable with javascript some people are comfortable with python it's their choice do what you like do what you love if you are comfortable with java don't switch to c++ this is my personal opinion this video i like i like c++ so that's why i created this video that's it but if you are good with python or good with java good with javascript just don't switch stick with it
इट्स ओके इट डजेंट मैटर कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज इफ यू आर ए न्यू बी थिंक अबाउट इट गिव प्रॉपर टाइम डू सम रिसर्च कंपेयर मल्टीपल लैंग्वेजेस इम्प्लीमेंट इन मल्टीपल लैंग्वेजेस एंड देन टेक अ डिसीजन कि विच लैंग्वेज आई एम कम्फर्टेबल विथ आई एम कम्फर्टेबल विथ सो डोंट जस्ट चूज अ लैंग्वेज बिकॉज द हर्ड इज चूजिंग द सेम लैंग्वेज डोंट डू दैट चूज अ लैंग्वेज दैट यू आर कम्फर्टेबल विथ सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो I hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and have a great day and stay safe bye